Good morning. Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, Autodesk Simulation Strategy. So this is a, an introduction to uh, what forms our strategy. This is a picture of um, a fan inside um, a computer circuit board. So the fan is here. So if you consider this component and what you might need to simulate to predict the performance of this part, uh, first of all, you have um, You have uh, the flow to predict the filling of the fan itself. You have um, a thermal simulation of the cooling of the mold. You have warpage of the mold itself. Then you have the mounting of the fan inside the, inside the component. And um, then a CFD simulation to do, of the heating and the cooling of the circuit board. So all together, this represents quite a complex multi-physics situation. So that's one simple example, but it, we use this um, because we have to do more than solve the one problem, we have to solve every problem related to a situation. So a fan is very simple, but something more complicated like a bridge shows if you don't design it properly and if you don't use sim simulation properly, the cost of not doing that can be very high. So this slide shows uh, all things that we could consider during simulation. And if I play the next build, this shows the areas that Autodesk covers. So part of our strategy is to make sure that we cover as many physics as possible, um, in, including um, the, mold, the manufacturing processes, molding, machining, rapid, rapid manufacturing, composites, and as many different use cases as we can so that we can really simulate uh, the actual problem happening in a multi-physics way. So in addition to multi-physics, what we have to do is solve problems that are relevant to you. So obviously different companies have different problems to solve. So if you take Moleflow, Moleflow has been around for 30 years and in that time we, we've covered situations where parts are greater than two meters in size and also parts which are less than one millimeter, micromolding. 
So we have a, it's important to cover a wide range of problems, so we cover the problems relevant to you. Pizzo,这样摸的 So core to our strategy is to have multi-physics that solve problems for you that work together from a single vendor. So today we have, uh, we can solve all of the problems on this circle here and the, the packages that we make available to customers are mechanical, CFD, mole flow, composites which is new this year and robot for structural analysis of buildings. 这就是Autech的专业,你看我们想就是要提供一个多里长,就我们一家公司可以提供你们所有的solution,这里可以看到现在我们的几个产品,Mechanical so another very important thing for our strategy is to consider the different users of our software and give them the right tool at the right time. So we look at our users into three broad categories. Analysts, who are the typical mole flow user, who are still our main user today, who need very rich, deep functionality. Uh, engineers, who uh, really need something more simple um, and easier to use. And then designers, who may know nothing about simulation, may know nothing about engineering, and need something extremely easy to use with no training required. Autech的另一个专利方针就是要提供给你们的产品完全是适合于你的 so now I'll show you some three examples of how we deliver technology for the three different types of users. So for the first user, um, a designer, we have uh, two examples. These are movies, actually, if you could play them. Uh, but on the left is um, Autodesk Moleflow DFM, designed for manufacture. Uh, I showed this yesterday. It's a tool embedded inside a CAD system. So there's no simulation expertise required. It just tells the designer whether their design is good or bad using simulation. And on the right, if we could play that movie, that's uh, an example of um, a wind flow simulation also embedded inside a CAD system. So again, there's no separate simulation. You're in the designer's workflow, and we make simulation extremely easy to use. 
右面一个呢，实际上是我们最近开发的一个空气动力学的一个非常简单的空气动力学分析一个软件，就是在这个，在这个是一个车吧，在空气是其实我们这个有风洞的试验的，我们就是在跟大学合作，把那个软件在风洞当中把一个车的模型整个模拟出来，测了很多试验结果，跟我们的嗯 simulation 的结果。那 s o v e 我们非常快，但是结果是非常好的。So in both these cases, these are design tools that have simulation in them, not separate simulation tools. 这个都是你看非常简单的一个 designing tool， 就是你给一个设计者，你不要多少你的经验，也不要多少你知识，就可以用了。The next example is um, a tool for engineers. So this is our SIM360 product. It's completely on the cloud. Uh, it, it's built on um, the same technology as our Fusion 360 product. It has in-canvas direct model manipulation. It has version control, collaboration, um, all built in on the cloud. So this is a tool. Um, which we are targeting at engineers. This is a very common design for engineers. It's a SIM 360. SIM 360. If you listen to the report yesterday, you talked about a lot of this. This product is completely in Fusion. It's very good to use. If you do a simulation of engineers, 从 CAD 到应力分析这一个，你如果有机会可以试一下的话，你们就发现比一般的 CAD 软件要好用得多。So in Sim360 we have、um, communication and more of a social aspect built in, so that engineers can communicate with other engineers and designers and manufacturers. So this is quite unique. 这个 Sim360 呢，它这一个有一个很强的功能，就是你交流。就是可以跟其他人联系啊，这一个就是现在得昨天讲的所谓的社交方面，你把 simulation 啊跟其他公司合作啊，跟你的 colleague 的跟其他你的同事合作啊，是是非常强大的一个工具。And the last example here, there are lots of movies. They should all be movies. Shows、um, for the very high end for the analyst, which is still our most important. Market and still key to our strategy.、Uh, these are some examples of、um, new technology we have. So, this is、um, mold deflection. This is、uh, conformal cooling. This is、uh, chip encapsulation. This is bi injection molding,、uh, and this is injection compression. So, we continue to add lots of high-end technology for mold flow analysts. 这个呢，就是第三个给分析者用的比较高端的一些分析技术。这里显示呢，主要是 model flow 的东西。第一个就是你可以看到的是，考虑模拟变形，整个你来来模拟，在注水过程当中，模拟可能就是你注水压力很大的时候，模拟会产生一些变形，对其他的影响。上面一一个呢，就是。随行冷却的一个新的技术，我们也最近可以做的模拟。中间一个呢，就是芯片的那个 encapsulation 封装。这边一个就是双注射的一个模拟。在上面一个呢，就是注输、注压、注压工艺的模拟。So this slide talks about our strategic foundation. It's the most important slide I'm going to show today. So if there's one thing I'd like you to remember, it's this slide. So first of all, Moleflow is built on a design philosophy. It's not just physics simulation. It's not just a tool. It's based on a design philosophy for injection molding that、um, Colin Austin created 30 years ago. And the software 
implements a design philosophy, and that's absolutely critical to what makes Moleflo different from our competitors. 就是 Moleflo 这个产品的建立，就是你们知道那个创建这个公司叫 Colin Austin， 他。他在倡导这个公司的时候，完全是他根据多年他在大学里出来的，有在那个工业界也做过，所以他有很多很多经验。他倡导了他自己的 philosophy， 就是他是有设计智能。我刚进 m o d e f l o w 的时候，我是那时候九六年，就每人都发几本他设计智能，都是 Colin Austin 自己写的。他里面这个人也有他，我们 m o d e f l o w 人也只是来用来作为一个工具来实现他那个就是。他的设计那个哲学的一个方一个工具吧。嗯。Second, uh, our, our strategic foundation is built on validation. We have physical material testing laboratories with injection molding machines in Australia and in Ithaca. So we use these for material testing, but we also use them to validate all of the software that we give to you. So key in our philosophy is to produce software that gives accurate results that we experimentally verify. And we do that so that you don't have to test our software for us. C A 一般的 C A 公司啊，包括安设施之类的，他们不会有一个很大的实验室。如果你们来过墨尔本的我们的研发中心的话，你就可以看到，我们墨尔本有很大的一个实验室，这里有很多 machine， 就是这种这种 machine 啊，材料的试验啊，整个注塑，这个、这个东西不仅是来用来做很多试验嘛，也也来做很多研究。你就是我们在研发时候碰到理论问题，有的时候解决不了。就跟很多博士那边做试验的时候，那边也有很多博士的，我们就跟他们一起合作，一起讨论，能够试验方面能不能给我们一些就是研发的时候一些指导。所以我们能做的就希望能够通过我们的验证，通过研发当中的一些理论的验证啊，这样你们用户用的时候就不用再验证，可以放心的可以一起用了。Next is training and certification. So we have、um, a very comprehensive training program for Moleflow, and certification. So in parts of the world, access to software is not the barrier to, being, to it being adopted. Actually, having trained people in the software is the barrier. So having this certification program is key for us. And some of our biggest customers require that their supply chains are certified to a certain level in, in Moleflow. 第三个就是培训，这个特别是对 m o l e f l o w 这样一个高级人员来说，就是用户的水水准是很重要的。所以我们很重视 m o l e f l o w 的那个这方面培训的这一方面的东西。就是大家也都知道 m o l e f l o w 证书，别人那考题好像还是挺难的，我也看过那些考题，都是特别是往上的级别啊，都是有的有的考题真的是非常难。嗯，这方面，但是对整个你有效的利用 Moleflow 工具来帮你解决问题的话，这是非常必要的。And the last、uh, aspect here is support. So,、uh, I showed yesterday we have a global support network, and having qualified people able to support the product around the world is also key and has been throughout Moleflow's history. 最后一个呢，就是支持用户支持。这一方面呢，其实我昨天刚好我们跟用户也也有个交流。其实只有在中国这部分跟用户的反馈啊、支持啊，我是觉得你们反馈的比较少。像欧洲啊、美国啊、日本啊，反馈的比人多得多。才其实你们有很多问题，但是不知道怎么回事，就是应该就更多的反馈，我们也可以帮助你，你们也可以帮助我们。Okay, so、um, I'd just like to highlight、uh, here what. How we are different from our competitors. So obviously, we have simulation products, but we're we're part of a bigger organisation, which is a has some advantages. So the advantages Autodesk has, Autodesk Simulation over many of our competitors, is the cloud strategy. So you heard yesterday Steve talk about、um, Steve and Amy talk about Design 3.0. 
Much of what we're doing is about cloud, social, and mobile. We get to take advantage of all the work going on there in Autodesk. Um, geometry, obviously, to be a design company, geometry is very important. So we have access to the, the latest uh, geometry kernels, state-of-the-art modeling systems. Uh, visualization, I'm going to show you an example of the very powerful visualization engines we have access to. Data management is becoming increasingly important for simulation. Uh, we have, um, again, data management tools locally on the cloud that we can take advantage of. The design connection I already talked about and um, multi-physics I already talked about. Simulation 可视化在media这种里面的产品，你看可以显示的非常漂亮，数据管理啊，还有设计直接联系到CAD方面，还有就是我们的多物理场的解法。so I'm going to finish with um, two examples of how we're uh, using that strategic advantage we've got. 下面来给你们演示一下两个例子，怎么样可以利用奥泰克的极大技术，用于我们的simulation。uh, the first one is visualization. So this is a, a photograph produced from, um, well, it's actually a rendering produced from a VRED product, but taking um, simulation results and importing them. So this allows us to do some, create some amazing pictures, which are much easier for customers to understand. So this is one really good example of uh, using CFD results and high-end photorealistic rendering. from 3D Max, I V-Red, I believe. Okay. 就是你可以看到，你看这个图像，我想对所有的管理者什么特别有吸引力的这个。Another example is um, of taking mole flow results into this, in this case, showcase, where you can see um, a sink mark, uh, sink marks appearing on the surface. Rather than showing a scientific plot, we can show the part as it would appear in reality. 你看这就是另外一个例子，你如果。预测你的里面的SyncMark的话，你可以看到图形上可以看得很清楚。And uh, finally, um, cloud computing. You know how cloud computing is important for simulation is the ability to do um, optimization. So today, um, people use simulation as, as a what-if scenario. So they they set up one run and ask one question. But optimization allows you to set up a problem and get an answer to the problem. So we have um, design of experiments in MoFlow, and, and this is an example of what we s expect to see in the future, where you can get al complete alternative designs come back by using the power of the cloud. So in conclusion, uh, the Autodesk simulation strategy is to have broad multi-physics solutions for the right people at the right time built around a design philosophy that we validate experimentally. We work with our customers as partners, deliver world-class training and support, and we leverage uh, cloud visualization and geometry. This is to 
解决你实在实现实世界的问题。第二个呢，在合适的人呢，在合适的时候要使用合适的工具。第三个呢，要有一个设计理念。我们的第四个呢，就是要设计要做对我们的所有产品要做非常可靠的试验验证。下面一个呢，就是合作伙伴的问题。再就是一流的培训和支持，另外一个呢，就是充分利用云计算啊、可视化啊、集合建模这个 a u t o c a 的优势，使我们呢，这个整个的 simulation 呢，更奇、更特别、更有竞争性。That concludes my presentation. Thank you. 谢谢大家。啊，谢谢燕的这个。